These are special medical suits. They are light. They don't restrict movement. They allow working with different dangerous chemical or biological substances for a long time. Ukrainian medics and rescuers are examining costumes made from special material, shoes, headwear and masks. This is the latest protective equipment used around the world. It's important for them to feel it, not just listen to rumors, but to see it with their own eyes, what it looks like and how it works. A Norwegian military medical specialist explains how blood transfusion can be carried out in the field. Among the participants of the training is Denis Surkov, the head of an intensive care unit. He says that these skills are new and necessary for Ukrainian medics. It's not at a hospital level, but this could save a lot of lives during the fighting in eastern Ukraine. Employees of ER departments are mastering the basics of emergency care. They are watched on by American specialists. Our doctors here are definitely prepared to give emergency care and that this class just further strengthens them and makes it even better. The International Medical Conference, supported by NATO, was held in Ukraine for the first time. The Dnipropetrovsk region was chosen due to its proximity to the combat zone in eastern Ukraine. This raises the competence of our doctors to the level of NATO countries. The knowledge, skills and practice we receive over this period is also valuable for doctors and specialists from NATO countries. The forum has been held at the Dnipropetrovsk Regional Hospital. Over the past five and a half years, it helped save the lives of 3,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Reported by Natalia Husak from Dnipro for UATV.